These are uh, puppy remote sits using a fence. I'm going to also teach him to uh, sit with a whistle. The fence will keep the dog from coming toward you. He'll try to climb the fence a little bit at first. Um, it's hard for them to sit away from you, but this gives them the picture. So I do two things. The first thing is when I call the dog to me, I'm going to get up to the fence, so he's going to come right along the fence. But when I sit, I'm going to move back. The reason why you don't want to sit with the right next to the fence is in traditional training, you always have to go back and sit the puppy, you know, in order to make him sit, you have to, you know, grab his leash or use a cookie or whatever you want to use, um, which you couldn't do when he's away from you. So I'm going to teach him to sit away from me. So first I'm going to come up to the fence and call him. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Step back. He goes away, call him back. Come here, come on. Step back, sit. sit. Step up to the fence. Call him, come on. Good boy. Move with the fence with him, come on. Good boy, good boy, come on. Come on, good boy, good boy. Good boy, and step back, come on. Sit. Sit. Come on. Sit. Good boy. Now the further back that you get, the more distance you create, the harder it is because the distance is greater and they want to come to you. So what I like to do here too is practice my overs, um, which means for him to move side to side. And I'm going to do it from a little further back. I'm going to put my right hand out and move to my right, which would be his left, and he's going to move with me. I blew the whistle there just to get his attention to look at me again. Over. If he goes through it, you're going to come back to the fence as he follows you back. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, sit. Sit. Come, come on. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Over. Good boy. Now we're going to go to the left. Over. Hard to do this in work the camera. Good boy. 